Hey guys, it has been a while since I have done specifically a YouTube video. Um, I have been doing mostly videos on my stamping um, Facebook page and then I would upload them to YouTube. But the last video I tried to do that with, which was recent um, because I had made some Valentines that I wanted to show, um, and I will show them to you today. Um, it wouldn't let me. So I couldn't um, do the usual changing the www, making it an M, and uh, saving it as an MP3 file, video, whatever. Uh, it will not let me. So if any of you have um, tried it and it won't let you either, I'd be curious to know, or if you have tried it and figured out a way around that, um, please let me know. Anyway, so the Valentines I made, I know you'll see them backwards, but they say hello beautiful, was this one, and then this one, which they are the same, just sort of in reverse. And I made these using All Fun Stampers Journey products. And I have put the die away, but I believe it's called Cascading Hearts. And then this heart is from a two-piece die set that is like a heart film strip um, die. So the outside piece cuts a border around that looks kind of like film strip. And then I just put glue on and randomly picked different hearts to put the glitter on. And then I did the same thing with this one. And the um, sprinkles in the back are silk. It's the sparkle silk. So if you're interested in any of those products, I will put the link um, below so that you can get to my page for that. But what I wanted to um, show you today is a haul. Um, I've been doing some shopping. I've been to Dollar Tree and then last weekend went to Craft Warehouse in um, Salem, Oregon. And then this weekend, I got some things in Eugene at Tuesday morning and uh, Michael's. So I'm going to start with the Dollar Tree stuff. I'm sure it's all stuff if you've been in Dollar Tree or seen other halls where people have been there, you've seen it. This is just table scatter. It's They're the foam hearts, and I know they have uh, similar stickers made like this, but you get so much more. There's 60 pieces in this. And I figured I can put my own glue on to use these because there's so many different sizes and I love that there's both pink and red in there. And then these cute conversation hearts and there's a ton, there's 90 in this pack. Even if you just stick them on the envelopes, you know, I mean, it's just a fun little um, thing. And then, oh, also from Dollar Tree, heart googly eyes with the pink hearts in them, I thought, and there's all different sizes in there as well. <clears throat> I looked at them and started to walk away and I thought, no, those are really cute. And I've got some owl stamps that are kind of for Valentine's Day and I thought these would be really cute um, to do googly eyes on them. Okay, so that was it for Dollar Tree. And then this stuff I got um, at Craft Warehouse. I got these cute wooden glasses. There are, they've probably covered it up. Oh, there's eight. They're chipboard, actually. So there's eight pairs in there, and it was $3.99. I thought those were super cute. And then I love um, doodle bug stuff. So I got their sparkly, um, their glitter sprinkles. I don't know if you can see how glittery those are but they're I loved the colors so pretty and they were on sale for four dollars from $5.99 and then Dilusions um, I got this stencil and it was regular $6.99 and last weekend was on sale for four dollars 
crows. Crows are like one of my favorite things. Crows and mermaids. I just, that's what I have here in my stamp room, decorative wise, uh, mostly. And I know the two don't go together, but I don't care. <laughs> I love them. And so I've just got crows and mermaids sprinkled around here and there. So I thought that was a fun background type stencil. And then um, I liked this. This was in their Valentine stuff. This is from Sizzix and it was $7.99 and it may have been, no, I don't think it was on sale, but I just thought it was cute. I love the heart-shaped donut and it came with the die and then there's also a two from die in there. Um, so I thought that would be really fun. This would be fun on tags too. And you can always use this. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's. So I thought that was cute. And then um, these were on sale. These are also Doodle Bug. And they were $4.99 originally and I got them for $3. And they are just little castle and unicorn clips. And I sell, uh, besides selling Fun Stampers Journey, I also sell LuLaRoe. So I like to make little things um, sometimes to stick in my package when I send them off to people. And so I thought these little unicorn clips would be kind of fun on something. And then the unicorn paper pad. This is called Fairy Tales. And look at all those fun prints in there. So these and these are all the designs that are inside. I have quite a few doodle bug paper pads. I love their stuff. It's just cute, bright, cheerful, and fun. I That's what I love about it. But I loved that there were unicorns on there. And then in the mail, I had ordered... Um, who did I order from? I think I ordered this from Butterfly Reflections, Inc. That's a fun uh, website for supplies. And I got, um, or it could have been Tupelo Designs. Both of those are fun, and I'm not sure which, this, oh, I'm sorry, this might have come from Tupelo Designs. One or the other, I order from both. So, this is Lawn Fawn, and it is a um, shadow box card die set and you can go in YouTube and just put that in Lawn Fawn shadow box and you'll find all kinds of fun videos of people making the little shadow box with this is so cute so somebody was doing a Christmas one and that's how I came across it but um it's so these are like little hills and I think they were making theirs into snow so you could make whatever green it doesn't matter um, then there's the little logs and branches or whatever that's a rock I think um, and there's a bird then you can cut the window into a um, rectangle or you can stick this in there and make an oval you can cut out um, patterned paper to put on the side because this would be the side of the box over here so you can decorate the outside of the box as well as doing your little scene inside so this it was just it looked like a lot of fun and then I also got their little um, stitched gift card pocket sleeve but you could put that on the front of the card and have something popping up out of it. You don't have to use this for a gift card. But it does hold a gift card there. And that's what it looks like when you use it. And then I got this. This is from Dilusions. Diane Reevely. Um, they were having a sale. And I think these were 30% off. And it was $11.99. So it is a set of three of these little zipper bags that you can put your, um, like if you do any of her stuff, the big one will hold the big um, art journal. And then, you know, she's got other sizes, but you can put whatever you want to. And if you don't do her stuff, you can still use these for whatever craft supplies you want to. 
I just loved the design of them. I thought they were, I thought it was so cute. I love these. So I had to get those. Oh, did I show you the glitter spring? Yeah, I did. I showed you those already. And then I got this one sheet of Graphic 45 paper. I love their stuff, but um, I have so much of it and I hoard it. I tend to not use it. I'll buy like the 12 by 12 paper pads thinking, okay, I'm going to make um, a book with it. And I will, hopefully at some point. I've got several of those, but, and that was, I guess, what I had in mind even with this. This is from the Dreamland Fairy Dust Collection, okay? So it's all fairies. Oh, and they had, oh, I can't show you because it's on my phone, but they had um, made a fairy jar out with, you know, a glass mason jar. Um, and they cut out one of these fairies and put in it, and it was really cute. So, I just thought these were really cute. So, I either may use them in a book or who knows what. And the back of the paper says, um, Well, it's kind of like from a book or something. There's different sayings. If you read, the words are diagonal on there. And so it says different stuff. I just bought that one piece. Okay, and then yesterday went to, um, like I said, Eugene and went to Tuesday morning. And usually I don't ever find anything. Like my friend Catherine goes and I have some other friends that go and then they'll get on and do their haul videos and they found all these cute things and I never find that kind of stuff. But yesterday I got lucky. And so on an end cap actually they had a bunch of, and I couldn't believe they had something that was like for the right season. So they had this love stories. This is, um, by Lori Whitlock, but this is Echo Park, and it's that the Valentine collection, and um, Love Story, this one's called, and then it's got, so it comes with 12, 12 by 12 double-sided papers, and then it's got this whole sheet of all these fun stickers, and this one is really perfect for making a little mini album. You could make a flip book or whatever, and it was only $5.99 for that package. And then I got these um, number cutouts from Pebbles. Is it Pebbles? Uh, Simple Stories. Why did I think it was? No, I've got something else from Pebbles. So this is from Simple Stories. It was $1.99. I thought those were cute. This was from Pebbles. And so I like this ephemera stuff. And there's all the things that are inside. And it was $1.49. And then at Michael's, do you ever see, if you go in there, those boxes of um, cards that are just card bases and envelopes? Look what they had this time. Tags. And they are chipboard tags. And they are fabulous and of course they were on sale I can't remember how much they were but it was a really good deal there are six different designs and they didn't have like other boxes of designs to choose from this was the only design box they had but you know what you could cover these up with uh, paper you know whatever paper you wanted to but it's a good um, starting point and the ones on this side are a little more plain. There's the like notepad. This one's got a flower down on the bottom. I'll show you on the bottom. It shows all the designs. And then this one's a more muted flower one. But so there's all the designs. And there are 60 of them in the box and I'm pretty positive this was it was like five dollars it was under six dollars for this because I gave them six dollars at the checkout oh it was uh, 5.99 that's what it was 
because I got a penny back. So that is it. Um, I wish I could have uploaded that other video I did on my Facebook page, but you're welcome to go to my stamping page. It's just Jana Stamps, and it's two words, so it's the same as my um, YouTube, but, it, but two words in Facebook, and you can find me. And um, so there's other videos on there. Most of them I have uploaded, but now I can't. So I'm hoping that somebody out there has some information on how we can upload our live videos once again to YouTube. And that's frustrating because I always liked to do them there and then upload them. But things change. So anyway, um, I have got to get busy making Valentine's. Oh, I just noticed this in this package. Look at that cute like little donut or cook. Oh, it's a cookie. Too cute. Okay, so I will see you guys again next time. Bye.